I personally believe that interventions, simple interventions such as temperature monitoring as shown by Lavery and Armstrong and others, are very useful in helping the patient to monitor their condition. Now, I think it was Dave Armstrong that said that patients monitor their own blood sugars on a regular basis. It's easier and doesn't cause any discomfort to monitor the skin temperature. And perhaps this should become part of the norm for those at greatest risk, that is, with those patients with insensate feet, however one defines that. So I think that some kind of intervention such as this, and the studies would support in the recurrent ulcer group, are very important, and I think these will form part of the future of preventative care exercises in patients who are found to have risk factors for foot ulcers. The problem is that no study has yet proven uh, that actual foot care education leads to reduced ulceration. It leads to better foot self-care in one study by Jeffcoat and colleagues, but it didn't lead to a reduction in foot ulceration. So it may be that education plus simple tools such as self-temperature monitoring or whatever might be the way forward.